All right, guys, how's it going? So I've been out and bought the, uh, the Spanish football dailies for you, keeping a close eye uh, on these uh, until the transfer window closes. Uh, is there anything in them about Zubamendi, you turning to go to Liverpool? Is there, fuck? Is there anything to do with Millie Vanilli at Valencia, Marmadashvili, whatever he's called? Is there, fuck? Is there anything to do with Luis Diaz going to Barcelona? Is there, fuck? There's nothing. There's nout. The only thing that I found that might be a little bit of interest to you, and it'll only be interest to diehards, and we spoke about it yesterday anyway, is uh, this little bit about Fernando Torres. Torres. You see that there? Basically, it says Carbonelli teach. I think it's Carbonell. Is it Carbonell? What does it say? Carbonell. Carbonell. Carbonell teaches Torres the harshness of the category. And then the subline is the reserve team superior hit the crossbar twice. And basically, uh, Fernando Torres. Hang on a minute. I'm in Spain. Fernando Torres. Uh, took charge of the uh, Athletic um, B team, B, uh, yesterday. Uh, he was previously um, doing well with their youth setup, but he's now like stepped up and he's the, like basically the reserves coach now. Uh, and uh, he began uh, his career as a reserve teams coach yesterday. And we did mention this probably yesterday. Uh, and basically, the article says um, the article discusses a match between Athletic, uh, Atletico B and San Luqueño. Uh, Atletico B, coached by Torres, started the game with a mix of new faces and experienced players. Excuse me, just a drink. Despite their energetic play and hitting the crossbar twice, they were unable to score. San Luqueño capitalised on a penalty converted by Cabanel to win 1-0. The match highlighted the challenges of the Premier RFEF League, emphasising the need for hard work and resilience. The game was watched by some notable figures like Simeone uh, and Tevnet, and it served as a learning experience for Torres and his team. Um, yeah, strong start, hit the crossbar twice, couldn't score, uh, and they lost uh, to a penalty. Uh, now, the Premier Federation... Um, which is also known as Primera RFEF, uh, is a Spanish football league, no surprises there. Uh, it's the third tier of the Spanish football league system below La Liga and Segunda. Uh, it was established in 2021 and replaced the former Segunda Division B. Uh, the league is designed to provide a more competitive environment and better development opportunities for clubs and players, bridging the gap between professional and semi-professional football in Spain. Um, so that's, that's your lot, really. Um... Yeah, I mean, like, you know, listen, Fernando Torres played for Liverpool, great player. Uh, he's done well, you know, at the uh, with the youth. Uh, and he's now a reserve team boss. And, you know, maybe it's not interesting to you. It's interesting to me. Um, I like to see how things go. Because if he was doing really well and, you know, if Anna slot bombs, you know, we could we could say, hey, look, Fernando Torres, next manager of Liverpool. All right. Maybe not. <clears throat> so, well, Anna slot's not going to bomb, is he? Well, you don't know under this shower. Um, I've got to be honest with you, I feel like I'm keeping my opinions to myself a little bit at the moment. Probably because I don't want to set everybody off and be negative, do you know what I mean? Um, mm. It's understandable to be a bit like negative and a bit uh, pessimistic at the moment with the way that this transfer window's um, been going, but there's a few days left yet. Uh, listen, I will be live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday... Uh, 2 o'clock and 7 o'clock UK time. Please do come along. Monday afternoon, tomorrow, could be a little bit different. Bear with me with that one because it's my boy's day off in America, different time zones, and uh, we'll see about that. But uh, certainly 7 o'clock tomorrow night, Monday night, I guarantee you they will be live then, health permitting. Um, but, yeah, we should be in, in, around in, during the day as well. But watch tomorrow morning's briefing for uh, confirmation of that. And, um, yeah, throughout the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 2 and 7, Friday we'll be doing, uh, you know, an all-day stream because it's deadline day, so I'll be live with you uh, from probably around 6 in the morning. All right. Um, I'm going to, I don't know, I, I have recorded another video for you um, about Joe Gomez, uh, but I haven't made it live yet because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to make it live yet. So it's there, I've recorded it, but I was just, if you do get to see the video, 
towards the end of it, you'll hear me say, I'm not sure if I was supposed to, if I can mention that or whatever. Um, because it was an email that was sent to me and there's part of it says private and then there's part of it says the official line. Um, and I just want to be sure that I, I, I'm, I'm okay to discuss it. So I've emailed the person back uh, and I'm waiting to get a reply from them. So if you do not see a video about Joe Gomez from me today, you, then obviously I've been told not to uh, publish it. Um, but it is there. It's uh, it's there. I'm just waiting, waiting to nod. It's, it's not that fucking exciting, to be honest with you. It's um, just a little bit of insight, you know. You know, what you got to remember is, right, these content creators, these YouTube channels, these podcasts, these X accounts, you know, any, the, the, all these accounts that are selling you something, right? Uh, when I say selling, like, betting affiliations, you know, and all that shit, um, your, your latest ball shaving products and everything, they, they just want to interact. They just want to get uh, farm engagement, you know, and they have to make things sound sensational. We'll have breaking news at 10 o'clock. If you've got breaking news, you break it down before anyone else does, right? So that you know straight away someone's a bullshit when they do that. Um, here on the more mature channel that's been, uh, you know, I mean, listen, I've been online, cop so, you know, this is my 27th year, you know. I'm just saying, I don't know if I've ever told you that. Uh, we, we just keep it fucking real, you know what I mean? So not everything is exciting, uh, trust me. So we'll wait and see if I can do the Gomez thing. Uh, but that was just a little update to tell you, basically, there's nothing being said in Spain. I'm very surprised nothing's being said about uh, Milli Vanilli. I thought there would be something uh, about him, to be honest with you. So, But I'll keep an eye on these things. I'll keep buying the newspapers throughout the week until the transfer window closes. All right, guys. Um, I think Bermende, listen, you know, it's just some people think that seem to think that there might be a last minute thing. But there isn't going to be, is there? Uh, and... Um, Obviously, keeping an eye on uh, Luis Diaz with Barcelona. I, I have not seen him mentioned once since that double page, uh, probably about 10 days ago. Uh, the only other thing that was uh, in the papers was that Real Sociedad won one nil away from home yesterday. I think they were Espanyol and Cubo uh, played a blinder, apparently, and scored in that game, got the only goal. And this is a player, of course, that Liverpool looked at during the summer. Uh, he would be an outstanding signing, I think. But maybe people think he's a little bit too small for the Premier League. I don't know. All right. That's the latest from Spain, guys. Uh, it looks very nice outside. I'm going over to my other YouTube channel shortly. I'm going to be jumping on the Xbox with my friend Smooth, hopefully. Um, if you would like to, to watch our streams, uh, we just jump on one of the games, uh, Call of Duty DMZ. I'll be going on there soon. I also do other videos on there from time to time. It's youtube.com forward slash Duncan, D-U-N-C-A-N. Oldham, O-L-D-H-A-M. In fact, I think the link's in the video description. All right, guys, if you appreciate the video, please thumbs up. Uh, please drop me a comment. If you want to buy me a beer or a coffee, you can hit the super thanks button. I'll give you a shout out in tomorrow morning's morning briefing. Uh, if that doesn't work for you or you want to use one of the other methods to support the channel, all the information is in the video description. It's always updated. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend.